Maize is the major crop which we just plant and plant and it's what we depend on. So we planted this maize and the harvest now you see it's only this. So we have a great, great, great loss. Not, and, and it's not only here. All the shambas allowed are like that. We are announcing hunger in this area. We have got two continuous years that uh, it is coming this kind of disease. We don't expect any benefit from that or any profit. We expect only a loss. Now it is there for the ficato, nothing else. My name is George Mahuku and I'm uh, the maize pathologist with the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center. And uh, right here we have one of the new diseases, maize lethal necrosis, which is caused by a combination of two viruses, uh, maize chlorotic motor virus and the sugarcane mosaic virus. Each one of the viruses on their own can cause the disease, but when they are in combination, the two of them co-infect the plant, that's when you get what we call the maize lethal necrosis. The plant basically dries up. Uh, you don't get uh, you know any yield, and you know in most cases when it uh, strikes in very early, yield losses are hundred percent. You get this you know uh, necrosis, which is really the loss of chlorophyll, and then it starts to get uh, to get yellow. So you get this green yellow pattern that goes you know uh, all over the leaf. So right now our efforts in this side is. Uh, centered towards uh, identifying you know, uh, sources of resistance to this virus. And since it's a new virus in this region, most of the germplasm that we have is susceptible. So in this site, what we are uh, doing is uh, getting uh, all the germplasm from Kenya, the countries around, as well as from Mexico. So we are bringing those materials so that we'll try to screen them and in the hopes of identifying something that is resistant then we can start now to incorporate it into our local hybrids. We amplify the inoculum in the greenhouse, which is what we have right here. And then once the plants have grown, we harvest the leaves, we uh, extract the virus in the laboratory. And then now when we go to inoculate in the, in the field, we take maize chlorotic motor virus and sugar cane mosaic virus, we mix them together and then they use motorized sprayers, we inoculate, and then uh, two weeks after we inoculate, then you start to see the, uh, the symptoms. So it will probably take, depending on what happens, maybe two years, three years, to come up with something that can be made available. Here is, you know, uh, two lines that were planted exactly the same day. They were inoculated the same day. And uh, the one that is completely susceptible, has no resistance whatsoever to the disease, is uh, completely dead, dried out. And then the one that has some tolerance or some genes that can be you know, uh, tolerant to the, uh, to the disease, it's still green, it's standing, and you can actually see the difference between the two. So there is hope that at least we'll come up with something that might be able to resist the, uh, this disease and arrest the development of the disease or spread of the disease.